Hi, my name is Henry Ranga, president of Christian Leaders Institute. Today is a bittersweet day for me. In a few minutes, I'm going to leave our studio here at Christian Leaders Institute, go home, get my suit on, go to LaGrave Avenue Christian Reformed Church. Today is Rich DeVos's final farewell, his funeral. We're going to celebrate his life. At Christian Leaders Institute, we celebrate his life, his impact, his legacy. The last few years, we've been gathering some thoughts together, some pictures, some ideas. We knew that as Mr. DeVos was aging, that his time the, on this earth was coming to an end. But his impact is going to go on for years and years and in the lives of thousands of people, including many of you who found Christian Leaders Institute and are now becoming trained to be revival leaders. So what follows is our tribute to a kingdom man, a life well lived, who impacted his family, impacted the kingdom of God, and has impacted Christian Leaders Institute. I was shooting baskets in Colorado Springs and an Amway distributor walked up to me from the neighborhood and tried to get me into Amway. I was impressed. So I faxed the Amway headquarters and asked Rich DeVos to be my mentor. When Rich DeVos sent me back the, yes, I'll mentor you fax within 24 hours, I was amazed but I saw the hand of God at work and a relationship with Rich DeVos and myself, including Steve Elzinga, began that moment. When I met Rich DeVos, he was 68 years old and I was 32 years old. I immediately realized this is the youngest 68 year old I have ever met. He had vision. He was inspiring me to dream big dreams in leadership, in ministry training, Everything that we were talking about was all about reaching the world for Christ. But I'm a sinner, saved by the grace of God in Christ Jesus, and I marvel at what God has done in my life. I know who I am, and I know how bad I am, and I know how much I need a Savior. And so Jesus has been a part of our life and my life from the beginning. And I used it as an opportunity to testify to them about Christianity being the foundation of our business. And our hope in Christ is what gave us the vision of offering hope to everybody to help them achieve to their greatest. And that even though they were not perfect, they could still achieve. That they had the potential to do more and to be more. In the 1990s, we tried many things to motivate local leaders to proclaim Christ, to show the love of God. Many times, we met with failure. And by the end of the 1990s, we realized that high quality ministry training needed to be delivered to ordinary people right where they were with one extra thing. Rich DeVos taught us that if you want to encourage people, you need to recognize. You need to give tangible recognition for their accomplishments. I had never been to a basketball game where I would go into the locker room. I met Shaquille O'Neal. I met Penny Hardaway. But there was one of those early games where I saw you mentoring the players. You were looking up at Shaquille O'Neal, encouraging him to live a worthy life and to not just get caught up in basketball, but to live life to the fullest. And I remember that. In fact, I took a picture of that. It, it's one of those precious moments where I saw Rich DeVos, who I was with, show the love of Christ in a tangible way. It's something that I've wanted to model my life after ever since. I remember going to uh, one of these Orlando Magic games with Rich and we flew in his private jet and all the, you know, VIP treatment and uh, we were in the building and there was a lady, a ticket person, or I'm not sure what her role was at the arena, but she was about 60 years old and she walked up to Rich and she wanted to show Rich 
her grandkids. And she, she opened up her purse and she had pictures. And Rich just spent like three minutes looking at the pictures and she's telling stories and he's laughing. And the rest of us VIPs were, <laughs> were sort of just waiting there. But uh, I was so impressed that uh, every person that he met, it was like, you matter, y you count. And it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what end of what part of, of the world you sit. Uh, every single person mattered to Rich DeVos. And I think it's probably because uh, every person matters to God. This just in, you were looking at a, obviously a very disturbing live shot there. Dumble, we understand that there has been a plane crash. Y pues estamos a la espera. Kind of a, an effort to sure, yeah, yeah. compromise yeah. in the building. You may be getting an explosion from that. The morning of 9-11, 2001, I was in Manhattan, New York. And while I'm there, people find out I'm a pastor, and I'm amazed at how quickly people would be wanting to talk to me. I felt as if people were taking a number to talk to me. The urgency of things of God was upon everybody. During that experience, I believe the Lord spoke to me to redouble my efforts to create more and more leaders for a world that desperately needed Christ. I'm always amazed at, at how you're moving ahead to find a new and better way to get the average person involved in ministry. You know, up till now, the church was always built around a certain leadership group, but most of us were excluded. We could come and listen, we could give money, but generally beyond that, we weren't qualified. And you started a whole new revolution of saying, you are all qualified. You can all be this. You can all build a church. You can all become a pastor. You, you all have leadership ability. And a lot of you have excluded yourself from ministry because you didn't think you were qualified. You didn't have the education, you didn't have the background, you didn't have the money. And now here this comes along. You say, we don't care about all that. <laughs> you can start, not only can you, we're going to teach you how to become a pastor, we're going to start you, show you how to start the church. Yep. You're not going to wait for a calling to some church or some denomination. You're going to start your own church. You're going to bring people in and build a church from scratch, which is what the Christianity from old days was all about. My father's a remarkably generous person who has a great gift of looking forward, not backward. He's very quick to share, always looking forward, always looking at positive opportunities that are ahead. Whether that, I mean, it's just a, a worldview. That's not a business view. Just a worldview. What, what's the next? What's the next right thing to do? But that's what it takes. It takes successful people helping successful organizations do successful things. Rich and Helen, from the bottom of my heart, and the hearts of thousands of students all over the world. I thank you for the legacy of the gospel that you have modeled to me, mentored to me over the last 20 some years. And the final thing I learned from Rich DeVos is that life is not, it's not business. It's not buying and selling this or buying and selling that. It all comes down to people that all of life is people, and as Christians, our goal is to introduce people to Jesus. In the end, it's all about Jesus. So I want to thank you, Rich, for helping us share Jesus. To those who can overcome the obstacles, rise up when difficulties arise, are the ones who win the prize. Everybody starts at the bottom. And there is no advantage to starting 10 years ago as opposed to starting today. In fact, it's better today than it was then. 
And so we are so driven by fear that sometimes we never do anything because we're fear of what somebody else will say. Put yourself in the presence of people who think like you, who want to get ahead like you, and will lift you up. Help others first, and then you succeed. You learn from mistakes. You gotta start with faith and belief in yourself. That's something you gotta make it your business to do. Just remember now, you can do it. Yep, you can yep. do it. That's the thing, you can do it. Because a lot of you don't think you can do it. You're, you get questions about people questioning you, and you have doubts. Don't listen to them. God called you. He brought you to this point. Don't let anybody take that away from you now. Believe it.